Hey there, um, just making another video on kids in competition because I got a comment and that person, a friend of mine, pointed out that I was, I was quite against competition and she felt certainly that there is a necessity for competition, that our life is well even capitali capitalism where we live is driven by competition and certainly you can succeed to to great wonders to at great lengths through the medium of competition but it occurred to me uh, after the fact after what I previously previously said that competition exists in nature exists in this world in, in a um, balance with um, fun basically and so we have this this dualism of of seriousness and playfulness and I think these come together in in sports perfectly and it's very difficult in fact it's most organized sports don't have this balance not not in the sense that the kids should those two be balanced you could lose and still walk away happy um, because your con your joy comes from the very act of playing the sport not just needing to win and that is where I lost I had a falling out with all of my sports. I played baseball, soccer, basketball, golf, and in that order, I slowly dropped out of them because I began falling in rank while I played these sports. And for me, I seem to derive my pleasure from judging comparison, right, of of others. And since I was good and I would win the majority of time of playing these sports, that made me happy. And I never seemed to learn that how to benefit or how to um, come out of, of losing and being perfectly all right. It's and that's something that I've always I've always felt that I can't say always, um, in the past couple years that your sense of fulfillment should come from uh, your desires inside of you, what you want and expect out of something, and not really on the the whim of others, right? And so, you know, it was unfortunate, but I was a huge sports player, and after an entire I mean, all I did was sports as a kid. Um, and now I can say I don't play any of those because that that structure of organized sports is gone and since I was playing simply to win I no longer play so to me it's very obvious that I never kept any sort of of um, working between playfulness and seriousness I was completely enamored with the seriousness side So, I guess what I was I was getting at in the first video, I was really, well, I was I was having a I was responding to another democratic educator, and in our minds, we see the um, the adults flooding the the child's world with methods to. Um, control their child and to form them in a way that they think will prepare them for their adult life and you really have to let the child experience life on their own um, you can't you can't force feed them life life is coming <laughs> whether you know you do something or not and so it's best to teach them how to handle all circumstances um, 
such as winning and losing. And if a child can, does have a, a balance here, they do have a, a firm center, uh, why they're playing the sport and what gives them joy, then competition is perfectly fine because if they lose or they win, they'll still be happy. And in fact, competition will be great for them because when you aren't feeling down from a loss, hopefully, if you are um, given this, this tidbit to be honest with yourself and to see why you lost, maybe even like analyze or um, review how the loss happened and those those points of interest that you think caused the loss are just areas in your game that you need to work on it's really a way of becoming better losing provides that opportunity to become more skilled in the areas that you're you're struggling so competition I, I know I said competition is not good for kids and I and I will make an amendment to that um, because Denise made a very good point that competition is necessary and completely in this world um, but I won't say I'll still say that the the imposition of competition and by that I mean all those many sports that we sign up our kids at the age of five six and seven they're learning a lot from those experiences and what they're learning is that winning's important and losing is bad it's the same lesson we teach in schooling that good grades are important and bad grades are bad and we don't we have a bad stigma attached to the negative attached to losing or failing and if you come from the proper place winning and losing are both fine they it sounds very weird but they're they're equal in a sense and if a child is in a place where competition isn't going to derail them for instance they're playing for, for their own reasons and their own enjoyment comes from within themselves then I'm, f I'm fine with them competing I I don't I haven't been around kids enough to know if if anyone that young uh, like 10 or less would be ready for that I don't know but I'm still against the the very nature of of especially in sports but that that competitive nature um, at least until you are sure they can handle it and they can benefit from both sides of the equation uh, left and right you know win and lose so I guess that's it peace and leave any questions or comments if you think I made something up uh, didn't know what I was talking about or thought I made sense alright See ya.